This morning's weather will make it tough for everyone who is getting on the road or getting uh, on the rails across the tri-state. That's right. So to look at how the MTA is responding to the storm, we're joined now by New York City Transit Senior Vice President in charge of subways, Dimitri uh, Critchlow. So good morning to you, Dimitrius. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Dan. How are you? Doing well, sir. So let's talk about this. And if you're seeing any major problems this morning, obviously all this water needs to go somewhere. The subway is always a scene where we see some of these videos that go viral, right? So what are you hearing and seeing this morning? Um, so for, for service, the J train has had some, some challenges with uh, debris. Our big story today has really been about the wind, a uh, number of circumstances where either construction debris, we had an awning that uh, flew over onto our tracks, um, but a, a big portion of what we've been dealing with has been the wind, uh, not so much uh, the, the rain. But uh, on Staten Island Railway, we've had uh, some flooding, uh, which has since been resolved. Uh, so at this hour, at 735 this morning, are there any subways that should not be used by people? Or should we tell anyone to stay away from certain lines? Uh, the J train does have a, 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 we're doing some reroutes on the J train. Um, so we would encourage customers to, to look for other routes for the J. Um, but the other service has been restored. We're doing a fantastic job of keeping the service going and uh, having people respond to those issues quickly. Yeah, you know, Demetrius, in September, everybody remembers half of all subway service really was suspended because of flooding into the system. So what steps really were taken from September to now to kind of prevent that from happening again? Well, it's really been all about prep, uh, determining the locations that need a response, um, locations that are more problematic, where we have a topography that uh, uh, flooding from, this, from the streets will come down to our subway system. You know, for us, it's really been about our sewer drains take uh, roughly an inch and three quarters. The sewer drains, for, so if, if our subway system is, is, is able to take anything less than a, an than an inch and three quarters, we generally will wind up with uh, our pumps being able to handle it. But we want to make sure that our people are strategically located. We have pump trains that are that are ready to go. We have people responding at a, a, to be able to take care of down trees and construction debris that's on the roadbed. So it's really about putting people in strategic locations where they can get to uh, to get to be able to get service restored. Mm. And so for maintenance crews on standby, if you have 435 stations, how many crews do you have on standby sort of watching those hot spots? Easily, we have over 1,000 crews out there at this moment uh, tackling issues. All right, Demetrius, I appreciate you joining us this morning. And uh, thanks to all the crew that's out there making sure everything runs smooth. It sounds like everything's doing pretty well so far. So fingers crossed it remains that way. But appreciate you joining us this morning.